it'll show. It's Christmas. Mm, 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 mm. Be Is that a Rolex? Here we go. Yellow wines are different. Maybe. Push up is pushing up today. my therapy session obviously and I was looking at IG stories I need to re-up on this lawless concealer because it is so freaking good I use clove under my brows if you're been if you've been here that you already know and I'm doing my makeup I'm doing a neutral look because what time is it? I need a film before I leave to take to go get Nimi and take him to soccer practice you gotta stay still with these eyebrows honey so I'm doing a neutral look so that like it just, you know, neutral looks are better when you're creating content. It's just like too much when you're talking about <laughs> Amazon must haves and you have on a freaking purple shuri eye. Like what? I mean, it's fine, but it's just it's not evergreen when it looks like that. So that's why. And I need to eat. It's almost 12 o'clock. I'm glad I went to the gym today because... I have goals. I've told myself, even if I'm not into it, I still need to get up and go. And the least I can do is the Stairmaster. If I don't have the energy to be picking up weights, the least I can do is the Stairmaster for 30 minutes. And at least I've done something because that machine be having me worked out. Heart rate be on 87 million and legs be burning in a good way. And actually, it doesn't burn as much as it used to. So I'm getting stronger, which is great. And I'm going to do my neutral eye look. I used this Too Faced chocolate palette yesterday. Wasn't my fave. It was fine, but I'm trying to not keep around mad stuff that I don't need. This orange blush is looking really good. I'm going to deepen up my contour so that it just blends better into this. Oh, wrong thing. So it blends better into this orange blush because it's looking very orange and if you can see the contour is on the bottom but I need it to come up more so here we go whoa I need to order something from Sephora more concealer because my lawless I took okay so I was overzealous with my blush <laughs> so it is way too high oh my dear god the cream blush be getting me yo it be doing a number on the kid. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, so annoyed. Today's not going to be the best makeup day, but what can we say? Just going to be what it's going to be, you know? This is Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. And I have paper towels down, of course. But I am so excited for Q4. It's about to be a killer for my business financially, which is exciting. And I just, I want to do some really big things in Q4. So I look forward to that or whatever. <laughs> Ooh. Also too, if you're part of my text community, stands up, you feel me? Because if you are, then you already know we traveling next year or whatever. There are mad people who are willing to travel with your girl. Can you imagine that? That is, uh, that is out of this world. So I cannot wait. I already have an idea of where we're going, but it's not finalized. So I'm not going to say anything about it right now. But if you want to be a part of my text community, I haven't mentioned it in a while because all of the telegram foolishness that was going on made me consider even stopping the text community because I don't want y'all to feel like you're getting scammed. It is me. But all this Telegram stuff was just real ridiculous. But if you want to be a part of my community, the text number is always in the description box. So look at that. Numbers, there'll be a payment plan, right? This is a big trip. It's not going to cost $50. And you can do the payment plan and make yourself, make it comfortable for yourselves. It'll be next year sometime. So giving people a lot of time to be able to do this. I am still <laughs> digging in this Morphe 35OM palette. Wowzers, and I just powdered my eyelid. This is my get up and go soft glam look that I'm doing very haphazardly. I do this all the time, and it's like, what? I'm actually sick of it, but it is such 
an easy and cute look. My cheeks are dewy. Hi, can you see that? Word which tells me that the joy of the Lord will be my strength. If there is unrest in my mind, if there is any hint of conflict or confusion, I stand by your word, which tells me that you are not the author of confusion, but of peace. And my portion is to have a sound mind. My portion is to be led to still waters. So as long as I wait on you, Lord, I believe that you will restore me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Matthew 22, verse 37 says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Lord, give me a heart that obeys you. Transform this cold heart of flesh of mine, Jesus. And give me a new heart of faith. A heart that is filled with your love and a deep hunger for you. Lord, give me a heart that places you right at the center as King and Lord of my life, as King and Lord of my soul, and as King and Lord of my mind. Your word in 1 Peter 1 verse 13 says, Therefore gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Today I rest my hope fully on the grace that I have received from Jesus Christ. Jesus. Amazing grace. A grace that covers a multitude of sins. I bless your name, King Jesus, for listening to my prayer. You are great and worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was so, so good. This tool you need, it. again, everything I use will be linked below. This is so good. It makes my lashes feel tight and secure on my face, Abby. And then mascara, plenty underneath. You gotta make the strange face. I get underneath there. This is Lawless One and Done, it's so good. Yo, I need to shave again, and let me tell you something. <laughs> I had to shave this area, and I always shave my upper lip, and I always shave my chin, but I did it because I got laser hair removal. You know, I've been doing it, I've had four sessions so far. I have six total, I do full body. And I do the areas I just showed you, part of my full body. So I had to shave it to do my session last week. Well, I haven't shaved my face this month yet. So I can see smoothness in this area and I can see my hair everywhere else. It's vellus hair, like peach fuzz. I don't, obviously I don't look like I have a, a beard on my face, right? On my whole entire face. <laughs> so it's just so funny because I can see such smooth skin right here because there's no hair in the way and then I can see when I go really close even with makeup the fuzz of hair everywhere else so it's a reminder that I need to shave I should do it tonight we'll do it tonight okay 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 this is the aftermath it doesn't look too bad today actually but let me clean up this this area my face is done I haven't sprayed it I think it looks really good without me even spraying it what do you think this is my soft glam look comment and let me know what you think about it let me show you the aftermath of when I do my makeup it doesn't look too bad it can be worse even lean <laughs> and my camera is on a tripod Obvi. so this is the aftermath it's not this is the aftermath. It's not terrible. I'm gonna put everything back in here. I did leave this. I should, I just, sometimes I feel like, oh, let me just leave everything here because after all, tomorrow I'm gonna get dressed again. But then that's like saying, let me not shower because tomorrow I'm gonna work out and get dirty again. So the rationale makes no sense. So no, I'm gonna clean up today and when I get dressed tomorrow, it's going to be a mess again, and I'm going to clean up again. I'm not going to allow that foolish rationale to even take flight. 
let me go ahead and clean it up. It, it doesn't take long, and it honestly makes me feel better to see a clean, clear counter anyway. So this I stash in my closet. I have drawers and areas for it. And then obviously tomorrow I will put everything back. Here's my remote for my camera. I want oh my god i'm gonna do this tonight i took this stuff out so i got products from wishful and i planned on doing a video to try it out and i haven't done that yet this i like to just keep this as clean and clear as i can this needs to go over here this is where my hair stuff goes i'm gonna try this tonight this is my remote for my camera let me put it away again i don't want a whole bunch of just stuff everywhere this I feel like I've tried this Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint before, but I can't remember. I want to do it again. Regardless, this is a new one. This is some skincare I was supposed to film last night. I didn't. So I left it here as a reminder. Oh, this is my edge brush. Put it down here. Let me see. I just need this to look a little cleaner. So I'm going to move these things over and do an evening skincare routine later tonight. Ooh. This Paula's Choice BHA liquid is really good, yo. I don't use it all the time. It is very strong. So I enlist it, uh, you know, on occasion. That joint is off the chisane. It works so freaking well. I had used it for a few days in a row and my skin started peeling. It is going to exfoliate you, honey. I mean, I was like, wow, that stuff is good. Get deep down in them pores exfoliate that dead skin you know what i'm saying okay clean it i always have to clean my sink because there's always powder and stuff left over on it from after i do my makeup obviously it just gets messy and i do have these clorox wipes i don't feel like grabbing it i'm just gonna spray some oh, clorox spray you're not the same thing i can't do it because this white sink be looking real brown after all of my powders are in it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be going through so many towels. I need to wash towels, actually. Okay, this is my sponge. Let me get this out of here. I was actually telling, Marie and I were talking about this earlier today. Why is this stuff? I cannot. Mm -mm. Marie and I were talking earlier today <laughs> about the stuff our, our parents, our parents would be saying growing up. Like, for instance, <laughs> for instance, Bob, hey, just says, yo, my mom, she used to always be like, Balmans, right? And I thought Balmans was a word. Well, come to find out the word she was trying to say all this time, but actually it's words, three words, is by all means. By all means. Emma, what do you Afra accent, you know? And she's saying it as Balmans instead of by all means. Years growing up, confusion. I thought Balmans was a word. My God of mercy. It's just like butt fruit. Butt fruit. I thought that Nigerians call it puff puff. And New Orleans, New Orleans. They're kind of saying New Orleans, New Orleans. The accent. Call it beignet, but they put powdered sugar on it we don't put powdered am i in focus okay we don't put powdered sugar on ours but it's the same thing it's the same you know thing maybe a little bit of difference but the same thing same idea so we call it buff fruit oh come to find out it's ball float ball floating imagine i'm so glad i have my makeup done by 12 20 so now what do I do? I'm gonna film two videos I still need to eat it's lunchtime this is where the confusion comes in because when I'm full I don't wanna be filming you know, I, my energy be real low. You know what I'm saying? I be like, hold on, let's just chill. Let's try to tell my vision. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not hungry though, so I should wait and film the two videos. But I can't, I can't lie. I feel good that it's 12 and my face is done because face being done means I can film. Face not done means I can't film. You know what I'm saying? Rain on a mistletoe. One thing I'm gonna do is always sing Christmas songs, even when Christmas <laughs> hasn't arrived yet. I'm gonna get to know you better. Oh no! I'm gonna get to know you better. Get her back into that again. This Christmas and 
I don't be knowing the words. And as I trim the tree, how much fun is gonna be? With, how much fun is gonna be with you? I doubt that's how it goes. This Christmas, the fire sign is not the fire. Mm -mm. One, two. The fire sign is not doing vocal lessons. Come on, here we go. The fire sign is blazing bright. Yeah. And we're carrying through the night. And this Christmas oh, sloppy. will be a very special Christmas. That was so sloppy for me. A lot of times when I sing, <laughs> if you're new, somebody will be like, oh, you can sing. You should sing. I do. I sing. Literally. I started singing formally at church, what, five years ago? But before that, I was just singing at home as a child. As a young child, you know. This is the part where we ramble. You know, if, if you're not new and you're, you're, you're familiar with me, once I start the you know and the hand gestures, you know what it is. You know what it is. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. That's when it, that's when it goes left. That is literally when everything goes left. Yeah, praise God. So I'm ready for Christmas, obviously, and it's September. Let's see, what's my next move? I don't know. I know what I think. Oh God, it's so not sparing. Oh, I was charging my motion sensor. Damn, uh, yeah, the light, and it's just very easy to charge. And then I come back and I put it up here. Yeah. It's magnetic. <laughs> Excuse me. It's magnetic and it stays just like that. I love these. I'm gonna link these below too. I'm really enjoying them. Except the thing is at night, if I move, they come on and they're bright. So at night it'd be like, yo, chill out. But you know, it's just very easy to take. See that area, there's no motion. It's easy to take off and put back on and just charge really fast. Watch. Moonwalking. There we go, 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 there we go. Shimmy, shimmy, yo, shimmy, yo, shimmy, yeah. Give me them, uh, can I'm gonna take it away. Yo, it, ooh, it's the, it's the tumbling bags for me, God almighty. <laughs> yo, the push up is pushing up today. I put on a new bra. You know, if you're like me, you rotate through the same bras and wear them down and then you put on a new one. That's what I do. It's just terrible. So the bra I have on today is a new one. I purchased it a while ago, but I just put it on today and it is it is working really well. You know, you wash and wash and wash, this stuff be getting all run down. This is a Victoria's Secret, but I don't know. I, I no, I do know. I'm not the best taker. I'm not the best caretaker for bras. So don't come to me for bra caretaking tips. Anyhow, I just do on this all black number. <laughs> I've been wearing these pants out, okay? Usual Amazon, I almost said Instagram, Amazon bodysuit this is an amazon bathing suit cover-up i've just been loving the same simple look and then these pants are amazon and then my fendi dad sandal type things and i'm just throwing this back i'm wearing all black today i normally don't do all black but here i am i finished my hair really fast i filmed using the sephora best skin ever concealer today so make sure you watch that video mm -hmm. you know i've also got a video on my favorite few of my favorite nude lippy combinations I'm going to throw, I've been using my Adidas backpack because all I do is go to the gym. But I'm just gonna throw stuff in here because I don't wanna go, oh, I didn't tell you what I'm doing. I'm headed to go have lunch with Nee. The lunch school situation just started back up again. I don't have any jewelry on, this is weird, hold on. I gotta put a necklace on, okay. I am running behind, Abby, right? I'm running behind, what is life, okay. I'm not late, but I'm not as early as I would like for it to be. This is a JBW watch that I love. Girl, when I wear this, they be like, is that a Rolex? <laughs> uh, it's JBW. Where's God? This is the Crystal 30. Is it 34? I'm going to link it below in case you look at my bra showing. It's brown, too, but still. Like, what? This bodysuit, I don't normally buckle the bodysuit down. Yo, the breasts are breasted. Okay, praise God. I don't normally buckle the bodysuit down, but when I do buckle it down, it be showing a lot of cleavage. You feel me? <laughs> and then if the bra cuts up really high, how do you say it? You know, like if it goes up really high, it'll show. So that's what's going on right now. And today I'm wearing Alien Mugler Intense 
Mugler Alien Intense Eau de Parfum. I sprayed it in the bathroom. These are necklaces from Jaclyn Hill. What? Jaclyn Roxanne. I should change my earrings. I normally don't change my earrings. You know, I just wear these. Okay, this is good enough. Listen, I be, I be coming in and they be like, Mommy, you look so nice. Where are you going? I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> to come see you? Like, how? What? <laughs> Duh. Okay, so got a pack. <laughs> I mean, this is not new. <laughs> keep on getting packages from Amazon, obviously. And I'm gonna open it up right now. Let me just explain to you what is going on. So I have rigged this arm. I'm gonna link everything below. I have rigged this arm. Okay, so this attaches to a tripod and <clears throat> it's to ensure that my microphone's closest to me as opposed to being on top of the camera. So the microphone can go on top of the camera right here, but I don't do that because what you'll find is it will pick up the auto focusing sound that the lens makes when it's trying to automatically focus on whatever subject. It could be something that I'm holding or it could be my face. But when it goes, you're gonna hear it in the camera and that's annoying. Not only that, it's not close enough to my face and I, I really, I am very big on my content being good. Great, not just good, great, okay? So I like my mic to be closest to me. That's why I have this arm right here that I have so that the microphone is closest to me. If you've been here for a while, then you know that my mic used to be on top of my head or above my head. So I had a boom pole, which I still have. I don't use, but then I got this, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to link this below. Now the thing about it is that there's a piece that goes right here that broke off some time ago. And <laughs> I have so many tech pieces and things are just in different places that I just did not feel like going to find it. So I rigged it with rubber bands, girl. And clearly it's just getting on my nerves. So I ordered a new set of the adapter pieces I'll show you. And they just came in. I'm going to figure out which one goes on it. I also ordered another arm. And I ordered, I ordered, ah, I ordered, I ordered another, <laughs> I said to know. Okay. I ordered another tripod <clears throat> because... Yo, when you create content, or when, let me talk about me. When I create content, I hate having a struggle. I don't need this to be a struggle. You feel what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm also on the hunt for another camera because I want to have two cameras. I am sick and tired of taking this camera down, bringing it here, bringing it there, bringing it there. I'm tired of it. I film all over the house. I don't want to have to always be taking stuff around. And I have several lenses. So it's not about not having enough lenses. It's just not having enough cameras. It's just so annoying having to always move this around. So it was annoying having to move my tripod up and down and this and that. So then I started to use the tripod that has always been in my studio. Well, what became annoying is the fact that the bottom bases of these tripods are different. The tripods are different in, in its entirety. One is older, one is newer. The bottoms are different. So what that means is when I'm moving the same camera from the studio, the kitchen, the bathroom, what have you, I'm having to take, because I'm Okay, so what I ended up doing, this is a long story, but it's gonna make sense. But if you're a creator, you're gonna you're gonna appreciate this. What I started doing was I said, okay, I'm gonna leave the bathroom tripod in the bathroom. I'm not gonna move it because it was annoying taking it off the counter, stretching out the legs, then doing stuff in the house, and then con con collapsing the legs again and putting it back. That was getting my nerves. So I said, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that tripod there and then in the house I'm going to use this tripod right here which is long but it can be short I said all right I'm gonna use that tripod in the house fine but again the issue that was annoying me was that these bases are different so anytime I took the camera off of the tripod in my bathroom I would have to take off the bottom that met that matched that tripod and then put on this bottom which matches this tripod that was annoying to me so yesterday I ordered another tripod that matches the one in my bathroom because that one is less bulky and I'll link it below so that when I'm moving my camera from the bathroom to the living room to the whatever onto this new tripod which is the same as the one I have in the bathroom I will not have to change the bottom goals and what I love is that 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 base, it, it fits on the tripod that's in my suitcase that I take when I travel because I've left it on accidentally and then when I got to somewhere, I hooked it and I'm like, oh, this actually fits. So it's great. So now I'm not going to have to always be twisting, twist and turn, twist and turn. Uh, because even now with my nails, it's annoying to be trying to twist and put, and put this back. Look at my bun. It looks crazy. It's irritating. And yo, this is all the reason why if you're a content creator or you're just... Um, curious and that's why you're here we be having so much tech 
I have so many tech things, it's out of this world. These are the adapter things that I was talking about. I know I got them somewhere, but for $8, I just ordered them again because I don't have time to go looking around to see where it is. I do have two of these mics because, <laughs> again, I don't want to have to always be detaching, attaching a mic. That's just dumb. You feel me? So here are the rubber bands, girl. It's just janky. You feel what I'm saying? But listen, it was working. It was working for a hot minute, too. Let me tell you that right now. But it kept moving and it was annoying to me. So here we go. Rubber bands, yeah. Everything is a song. Oh, good. This one fits right here. Let me show you. So this is part of the kit. And this little piece fits right on here, which is great. And then this can go inside of it. Yes, it can. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this will go on top. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, yes, baby. Here we go. Oh, we in business, honey. And so that this doesn't get tangled, let me unscrew it. <clears throat> twist this on. Twist that on. Twist that on. Twist that on. Boom, baby. Boom shakalaka. So now my mic is adhered to this arm. This is a very long extension. Uh, whatever. Okay. That's why that looks like that. Because this was, this is long enough to go on a boom pole. If you know, you know. All right. Boom. Now, this is maneuverable you can tighten you can turn it so i'm gonna do that because it obviously needs to face me and let me turn it like this yeah you hear me and then tighten it boom there we go connect it to the extension boom here we go yo here we go yo so what's so what's that was fast what's that scenario and i do believe i need to change the battery in this because when I used it earlier, oh, okay, it's green. But when I used it earlier, it was red. It's gonna go red again. I know I gotta change battery. Okay, <clears throat> so here's this. Boom, boom, boom. It was in a different box, honey. Here it is. All right, it was by the door, honey. I didn't even know. Praise God. Whatever. It's very heavy duty. And what I like is that this is the kind that can also lay like this, where the camera is right here, looking down for cooking videos, journaling type videos, whatever. So this is a really great heavy duty situation you feel me but it's not the one i have on travel because it's it's way heavier than the one i have in my suitcase both really good though okay cool here we go and it's so it's just so interesting how these things compact themselves you know because this oops, Look at that. Oh, the leg. Yup. Mm -hmm. So so here's what I mean. You see, this I'm going to just keep in the house. So it really be just around. It might be in the living room, might be here in the studio, whatever. So that all I have to do now is just move my camera. Oh, praise God. I just, you got to make things easy for yourself. So this is the top and then you bring the legs down, baby. Down, down, baby. Oh, sweet in the way, but I do what a baby. Ready to let it go. Chitty, chitty, Coco Pop. Listen to me now. Wow. What song did I just remix? Because we were about to say light that particular puff. I can't. Okay. So this is where it is. And then this is how you loa. Hey, loa, loa. Loa, 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 loa. Hey, some sits and loa. Right? And that's how in the bathroom I have it on my countertop. And it's go. Oh, you know what? You know. I can actually put this on a counter and it won't be too high and I can actually sit and do a video here. So this is what I'm trying to say. What I was doing in a different video, you'll see, is I was standing and doing the video and I liked it because it was very free, I could move. But because the legs of this are a lot shorter, which is great, I, because this other tripod was on the floor behind the desk and I would sit and do videos. Whereas this is a little shorter. I may be able to sit and then put up my chair and have the camera on the desk and shoot a video. Because what's annoying, I, it gotta make things easier. Because what's annoying is having to move the tripod from behind the, the desk and, and, and move it to the living room, move it to the kitchen, move it to the bedroom. So if it's on the desk, and that's where the kind of lens you have is important because you need a 16 mil, because of the distance between myself and the camera, 16 mil or lower 
18 mil or lower is best in order to really capture the background. This gotta be making sense to you because it makes a lot of sense to me, okay? If it makes sense, let me know. Because look, with both of them on the desk, look and see the height differences. So the old tripod, oops, the old tripod, the new tripod. Now, I could make it go lower by, and I don't plan on doing a makeup video here. I don't know, who knows? I'm just exploring my, I'm exploring my options now. I could make these legs go wider so that it can go lower. That's an option. Let me show you. Let's put the, let's put the, the bottom piece on the camera. So you take this. Oh, this one looks different. What? Okay, they've done a little upgrade because this is different. So I'm screwing this bottom piece on right now. This is looking different. Y'all upgraded and everything or whatever. Okay, now I made it really, really tight because I don't have to worry about taking it off. Like, oh, God. All right. And then I like for this part to be. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And then. Here goes the camera, tighten it, we tighten it like that. Bring this this way, this or that, this or that. Oop! You can get with this or you can get with that. Or you can get with this or you can get with that. You can get with this or you can, ah! Let me show you. I'm sure you can't see it too well, but I'm seeing now my background and wow, this looks really good. See, so I zoomed out and in order for me to get more of my background, and this is at 16. When I zoom in, I'm at 35. I used to shoot at 35 in here. Interesting, but it's so close. If I were to put this further back, it makes a world of a difference. Wow. Okay. Wow. I really could sit right here. Oh, the back is so washed out. The back is so washed out. Yes, it's just so bright in here. Okay. Options. This is what I plan on doing because I don't want to always have to move my microphone from tripod to tripod because that is also irritating. <laughs> I'm going to hook this onto this tripod, for instance, and then leave it here. And then I'll have an arm, I call this an arm, whatever. I'll have one of these arms, same legit setup and hook that to the bathroom tripod. So I literally have a spitting image set up both here and in the bathroom or wherever in the house, in the bathroom. So it will just make my content production so much easier, less stress, less to worry about, less headache. If you're a content creator, you understand the need for things to just be as easy as possible. They just need to be as easy as possible. Ooh, this makes me so happy. It just tickles my fancy. This makes me so ticklish. <laughs> my fancy is ticklish. Praise God. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I should do or whatever is get this to stay a little bit. No, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. Because this cord gets a little bit annoying. Let me tighten the cord a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten. This is a, you know, a lunch, how do you say it? A loaf of bread type of a fastener to fasten it. Is that what you call it? <laughs> I just, it just be the mix for me. It be the mixes of language and girl. Oh, and one of my goals, I have a few goals this year. One of my goals is to fluently, not to, not to, not to accomplish the goal by the end of the year, but of course to start, come on. Is it messing up now? Oh my God, dear God. Oh no. Oh. One of my goals is to start on the journey to being able to speak to you fluently because, come on, 
I speak it, but girl, please. Girl, please. You've, oh, come on. This twisty tie is not working. I can't do this today. You're not going to do this to me. Oh, no. Has it run its course? I need something different. You got a wine so different, too. And girl, our wines are different. See this girl that moves so different too. Girl, our wines are different. But I'm ranking. Watch the girl that wine. Comment. Let me know if you if you're dancing right now. Put it down. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's already weekend. Wow. I am reminded. This used to be my old setup. Wow, gala wines are different. Gala wines are different. See this gala moves so different too. Gala wines are different. I wonder if I should come back to doing some videos in here. <laughs> like facing the window like this. I'm thinking so. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna do that. La, 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 la. Okay, obviously that was not the best angle, you know? The lighting just wasn't the greatest in that in that way. I'm gonna take this big old tripod. Yeah, big old tripod. I don't need this. Who needs a tripod? Who do I know? Who, who do I know that can use it? Let me see if Marie, cause she ain't gonna be moving it all over the world. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see who needs a tripod. Cause it's functional. I just don't need it. I hate, anyway. I was gonna say I hate getting rid of good things, but I usually, I usually just make sure I give it to someone I know is gonna use it. That makes me happy. <laughs> I do want to feel like what I give is gonna be used and not just thrown somewhere. So he, okay, it's called a solid arm. So here's another solid arm. Dun, 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 dun. I always do that sound. How does it make you feel? Comment on that. All right, the adapter. I do hope that. There's more than one adapter that can work. Otherwise, what the heck? You know, for sure. All right. So let's let's adapt this thing. Let us. Oh, I'm so ready for Christmas. I just love the Lord. Oh, come. Uh, no, that's not it. Oh, come. Oh, wait. How does the song go? Oh, it does work. Praise God. Oh, come. Oh, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Why am I so confused? Okay, so I have this expandable arm thing like a podcast arm that I do love but because I've changed up the way that I film doing it all around the house I don't need this arm per se I'm not gonna get rid of it because you know I changed my mind so I might want to come back here and I'm gonna I might want to use this I don't know whatever I like it though a lot okay all these things are linked to my tech folder in Amazon so I'm gonna unhook my extra microphone which link below same mic two version, two versions of it I don't really Instacarted one one day when I realized I needed to have two. So let's hook. Oh, praise, praise Jehovah. Okay, good. Oh, good. There were there are a few. They're the same. The adapters, the silver part. I thought it was just one. I don't know. I thought that they were different diameters, but they're all the same. Praise Jehovah. Okay. What I was trying to say is I love Christmas. The spirit of it all, the feeling, all of it just makes me so happy. And I was about to start singing, Oh, oh, come all ye faithful. I'm not even giving it my all right now. Come, wait, nope. Joyful and triumphant. You know, that wasn't really my best. <laughs> oh, come me, oh, come me, oh, Bethlehem. That was so good. That was so bad. Lord, forgive me. Oh, come and behold him. Join the king of angels. My throat is burning. I'm having acid reflux right now. Listen, this conversation is very conversating. <laughs> conversating. The conversation is very conversating. Eesh. The conversation is very conversating. You know, it's just really casual. I'm trying to unhook this cord. Basically, another extension to look just like this, but I'm gonna fold it up because I don't need it hanging everywhere. And I don't wanna purchase another shorter extension. Girl, I have a lot of tech things. Over the past God knows how many years, I have purchased uh oh oh okay this was an adapter in order to get my mic to work on the desktop i had to get this adapter don't need that right now i have acquired so many things in, in, in an effort to ensure that my 
tech, my production quality is very high. I have a lot of stuff, that, stuff that I don't use anymore. Thought I needed, realized that I don't need. But I'm not gonna, I don't feel like purchasing a shorter extension, cause why? What was I trying to say to you? The conversation, hey, I'm gonna take this twisty tie from something I don't use and twisty tie this for my bathroom tripod, which is the same. So that this thing is not so stinking long. But where were we? We were talking about, oh, come let us adore him. It's the fall season. We wanna adore the Lord. I mean, we adore him every day. But I'm just saying, you know, it is the season. I know that it's not, okay. Listen, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, you know. I think that you would agree, all right? I think that you would agree. Twisty tying this excess cord. <laughs> I almost said rope. Excess rope. <laughs> See, now I don't need this adapter. That's how I collect stuff. I get it and then later realize, oh, I don't need it. But then I keep these things for the majority of them because then later on in life I might say, oh my gosh, one day I did buy XYZ, where is it? I actually need to use it. It'll come in handy now. So this stuff do be coming in handy at different times. I don't need this bag. Ooh, I did order my margarita mix. Okay, because I ordered some more recently. I didn't know I had already ordered it. Listen, I be ordering stuff. And sometimes I be forgetting what I order. God almighty, okay? And here we are. Strawberry key lime margarita. Mix it with some vodka. Excuse me. Mix it with some tequila. <laughs> Mix it with some tequila. And you good to go, baby. Zero calories, zero sugar. <laughs> it's the turn up without the weight gain for me.